International men's football returns to New Zealand's capital for the first time in over five years as they seek to break a goal-scoring drought which now stretches back six matches and almost an entire calendar year. Boxer with a solid header to defuse any danger at the defensive end. China, though, will come again. And a shot from a long way out and tipped over by Ollie Sale. Well, this is good from China. They work it through the midfield, and he's got to be all of 25 yards, yards out. Let's that one fly. Tries the little one-two with his old mate Callum McCowan, which doesn't come off. And now, again, perhaps a chance for China to break. Here's a good opportunity, and another good save by Sale. Still there for China, but getting back and hacking it away, Tim Payne. Finding Cheng Pu, who then rolls the ball into Wu Lei. And he gets it on the volleys. It just sets up, and Oli Sale does wonderfully well. Here's Michael Boxer. Just. Now Tim Payne. Crisp, slick passes. Rojas. He's closely watched. He gets it back to Bell. Tight areas to work in for New Zealand. And the shot comes in this time, and that one is on target from Marco Staminich. And Jan Yunning having to make a save for the first time. Well, it didn't trouble him, but it was a much more promising phase of play from New Zealand. Something tangible to show from the end of it. Alex Grieve, just see there how much of a tear area is. Doesn't let defenders rest for a moment. Gauchi's pass doesn't find its mark, but he scampers across to try and regain it for New Zealand. Here's Marco Staminic again, thought about a shot, then thought better of it. Really tight areas here. Rojas might be able to unlock something. Michael Boxer with the shot! Well, that would have been the most unlikely of sources for a drought-breaking goal. He's never scored for New Zealand, Michael Boxer, and 41 internationals. He probably hasn't come closer. New Zealand's positional advantage growing by the minute. Here they come again to New Zealand. And brought down and pointing to the spot is referee Kim Woo Sung. Driving into the box and earning the penalty for New Zealand. Eli Just and New Zealand do have a chance now, a golden opportunity to break this goal scoring drought. Well, just has been hit hard, and it comes off the back of some good build-up play. Joe Bell into Cullen McCarrick, round the corner. Just, lovely touch to take it beyond the first defender, and the second brings him crashing down to earth. No questions about that one. Nine and a half hours without a goal for New Zealand. Is the drought about to end. It is grief for New Zealand. And it is a very, very average penalty. 573 minutes. And New Zealand weren't able to open the account from the 12 yard, from 12 yards out. Back it comes through, through Marco Staminic, who's fouled. So another set piece situation for New Zealand as we head into the final five minutes of regulation time in this first half. Wu Lei. Just uh, putting himself about a bit. Rye smile in the direction of Libby Kikachi. What can Rojas unlock here? The delivery's good, and it's an own goal! Well, wouldn't you know it? Then off the back of a goal-scoring drought, the drought is broken by an opposition player. They're almost embarrassed, but I'm sure this has come off Zhu Chen Yi. As Marco Rojas's delivery was key and caused uncertainty, and Zhu Chengji, I'm sure, has headed this beyond his own goalkeeper. Half time here in Wellington. New Zealand one, China PR nil. We'll make those changes now. Matt Garbutt into the action. Grew up on the Carpenty Coast, not far from here. Had a season with Waterside Karori before joining the Ole Academy and attended Wellington College. And Callan Elliott into the action as well. Four seasons at the Wellington Phoenix. 
So both familiar with this part of the country. Turn, turn, turn around. Tell him, tell him, get there. You can see a new spine of this All-Whites team and the substitutes, Lewis, Garbett and Mata. Not just happy to win this game 1-0, want to make it emphatic. Here is Lewis. It's a lucky rebound. And they carry on. Bell helps it forward. Good run and shot and goal. And New Zealand have found a goal after all of this time. And who else but the man who was determined to do so, Matthew Garbutt. Patient play from Callan. Clayton Lewis and Joe Bell. They find Matt Garbutt. Chest that one down. He was determined, he was hyper-focused. Disappointed not to be starting the match. But he has closed this one out for the All-Whites. 600 odd minutes ago, he scored against the Solomon Islands and he is now the first player in a white shirt to score for the All-Whites. Welcome home, Matt Garbutt. Seconds. Gee, what an impact from the sub, Matt Garbutt. Oh, he's up for it, Piney. Matt Garbutt getting in the space in front of the back line. I'm sure he'll be keen as part of the goalkeepers union to see two clean sheets kick back to back. Indeed. A little bit of work to do before that is achieved. Just trying to come again. Wu Lei on the edge. Can't get the ball out from under his feet. Bardun gets it across. And arriving at the near post was Wu Lei. And he's frustrated as Ollie Sale comes up big. I think this is a hell of a save, Jason Pine. Good ball then across that near post. Kyle Adams and a combination of Ollie Sale keep Wu Lei out. All of which, with such a young team, Jason Pine, they started with six players, 23 or under, and they've got younger as the afternoon's got on. Last opportunity, perhaps, for China, as Lin Liangming brings it forward. Plenty forward for the Chinese. Back across the six-yard box, and here it is. Bagun has scored for China. They have a consolation. Well, no celebrating from Bagun. It is a wonderful header. Worthy of some fireworks. Good ball stood up across the All Whites 18 yard box. It's in front of the back line and it's a great late run. A powerful header to find Ollie Sales, top corner. The All Whites emerge from a goalless drought and for the first time in a year, savour the taste of victory. A first half own goal by Chinese centre back Zhu Chenqi. Matthew Garvin off the bench with an eye catching performance and a very well taken goal. A late consolation from Bardun for China, but it wasn't enough. Full time in Wellington, New Zealand 2, China PR 1.